Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Rust Belt Collector here, and as the title of this video suggests, we have an amazing haul to look at today. And I'm really excited because for all this channel, for all of its existence, I've mostly talked about Star Wars with a little bit of mix of like Acid Rain and some Fortnite, just kind of mix and matching some various lines in when I find a cool figure. But one of my all-time favorite... Uh, themes, not themes, but uh, properties, is actually Halo. Now, Star Wars and Halo are actually kind of on the same level for me, but I don't think I give them enough love on this channel. I know I've looked at some of the new Jazzwares figures and, you know, occasionally talked about Halo, but really, for all of my life, Halo and Star Wars have been in competition as my favorite properties. I can remember as a kid going over to a friend's house and playing uh, Halo Combat Evolved on an Xbox, and then eventually graduating to Halo 2, which is what these figures are from, and finally, of course, Halo 3, and then by the time Halo 3 was out, I got my own 360, played Halo Reach, played all the games, and I absolutely love them. Like, that is my favorite, probably of all time, uh, favorite game franchise. And so, this is kind of paying homage to that. I got a massive collection of the Halo 2 uh, Joyride, not not Jazzwares, Joyride studio figures, and that's what these are. These are the two that I had in my collection prior to this video. Had a red and a blue because, you know, red versus blue. It's a, it's, you gotta have one of each. That's just how, that's just the rules of the game. That's the collecting rules of Halo. You gotta have a red and a blue at least. So I have these two, and with this box behind me, we are going to probably quintuple it. Uh, I don't even know. We're going to multiply it by more than I ever thought I would be able to. And uh, I want to give a huge shout out to the guy that sold these to me. He was really, really cool to work with. Uh, cut me a good deal on these figures and overall just really awesome. I don't want to necessarily shout him out like, you know, on like his, his uh, social media or anything because I don't know if he's, you know, I don't know if he wants that out there. But either way, really nice guy and I appreciate this so much. And yeah, this video is actually being filmed in my old studio where I used to film um, before the, the wood table. This is my old desk that I'm filming on, and I should be filming here more often because I'm going to try and get more of a studio setup going uh, permanently instead of just the paper backdrop that you guys have been seeing for the last probably dozen videos or so. We'll hopefully have something a little bit more permanent, something a little bit more professional. So, I mean, you know, stay tuned for that. But without further ado, let's get these guys out of the way. These old, you know, rusty, dusty figures that I've had for so long. And let's look at the new old figures. First thing out of the box is this box. And I believe that this is just going to be all the weapons. We won't look too closely at this until we get some figures going. Um, there should be, I think, 20 figures in total in this haul. Yeah, this is... <laughs> This is all the various weapons. Most of these I don't think I've ever owned. Like, I've had some Joyride figures in the past that I don't have now. Um, especially as a kid I had some. But like the beam rifle, I've never had that. We've got the energy sword. We've got a, uh, a rocket launcher. I think this is the Combat Evolved rocket launcher. So there's that. Sniper rifles. Couple sniper rifles. Um, just a whole bunch of things. I'm not going to get all those out right now. I'll try and pair them with their figures as I pull those out. I'm, I'm literally just reaching in and pulling out whatever is on top. And first up, I believe we have, yes, an Elite Major. Um, I have not handled an Elite figure in quite some time from the Joyride figures. And this does not disappoint at all. Let's get this out of here now. I think that this is meant to be a campaign Elite Major. I don't think that this is supposed to be multiplayer. Um, I can never remember because it's... These are from, like, the olden days of collecting. There weren't as many checklists. You couldn't, you know, cross-reference everything with the internet the way that you can now. There's no, that I know of at least, uh, Jedi Business or Rebel Scum Forums page for the Halo figures. Let's pan that camera up really quick. There we go. There you can see his face. And, it, oh, it's so, so cool. The, the Joyride figures really were pretty advanced for their time. I mean, these came out in the early 2000s. They're a bit creaky. The joints are a little bit creaky, but that's just kind of because they use the hard plastic. But overall, I mean, the sculpt is there. The detail, the, the whole, like, skin texture for the Elites is amazing. Although I guess that's maybe not skin texture. I think that's actually their, like, jumpsuit, their space jumpsuit. So there's texture there, though, and articulation. You can pivot the legs, 
pivot the knees, pivot the ankles. These are just really solid figures overall, and they look so good. Let's give him a, uh, a plasma rifle here if we can. I don't know exactly what he came with originally, but I might be able to find some reference images online and uh, kind of base it off of that, but he'll have a, a plasma rifle for now. There's the first one, and I'm hopefully not going to spend too, too much time on these because, like I said, there's, there's 20 of them, and that's going to be a very difficult time getting through all of these, but we'll do it in as timely a manner as possible. Uh, next up, we got a baggie of random accessories. Let's just see what we got here. A couple uh, jackal shields. Yes, and I knew that some of these items were broken, so like the jackal shields, unfortunately, uh, the clips are broken. It's clear plastic. It's kind of to be expected. Um, this is part of Arbiter. This is part of... Whoopsies. This is part of an Elite, and this is part of Arbiter as well, I think. So there's a few pieces I might need to glue back on. It's totally fine, though. Uh, needler missing one of the needles. So it's actually, I, I appreciate that he included all the broken things together. So we'll find out where these go. We got the drone wings. Lots of amazing figures in this haul. This is the base for, I think that's actually, I'm going to put all the small pieces right there. That That's a clue for what's in this haul as well. That uh, tentacly thing. Um, I'll put all the weapons there. And that base goes to this, a capture the flag flag. And that's actually considerably shorter than I expected it to be. It uh, it doesn't really, yeah, there we go. Still very cool and uh, a great display for like a red versus blue multiplayer display, which is definitely what I'm going to be going for now that I have that. Um, we'll put all these broken pieces over here for now. Next up, I think we've got the Master Chief himself. Oh yeah, there might actually be more than one of these in the hall because, you know, back in the day, Master Chief was everywhere and uh, it's pretty common for people, I think, to just have more than one. I don't even have one, so now, now I have Halo 2 Master Chief and, you know, pretty much all these Spartans, I think there's multiple Spartans in this hall, um, they're all going to be the same sculpt, so I'm not really going to go over that. Same sculpt, same articulation, and, you know, they're, they're solid. I think that these are really solid figures. Some of their joints can get loose over time just because of how they are designed. They didn't have ratchet joints, instead they just had swivels, so like those knees are very smooth. They're not going to fall, but you can kind of see with a little bit of shaking, some of them will will drop. So the friction isn't always there, especially as these things deteriorate, but they still will stand up pretty nicely on a shelf. Next up, we've got this one. I think I know what this is. And if I remember correctly, it is the Prophet. The Prophet of Regret or Mercy. Uh, I don't know which one. I don't know my, uh, I don't know my prophets that well, but when you first saw Halo, were you blinded by its majesty? Yeah, these guys are uh, creepy and cool at the same time. I always, I always liked their voices. The voice actors for these guys were amazing. And he's got another, he's got another piece. Uh, this goes on his back. It's like his, uh, his thing. I don't know, his uh, decorative little headdress. Let me make sure. Ah, there we go. Goes that way, snaps in. I think this is Mercy. I could be wrong, but I think that this is Mercy. Either way, uh, he dies, <laughs> as do all the prophets in the game. Spoiler alert, if you haven't played that almost 20-year-old game, uh, you should get on it now, right now. Do it. Do it for the Halo rings. So there's that. We've got a prophet. And next up we have another Elite. I believe this is one of two Elite Miners uh, from the lot, which is nice to have... Uh, it's nice to have two Elite Miners to go with the Elite Major. This is the one that has a broken hand, unfortunately, but hey, you know what? It's okay. It happens. It's alright. It's all good. Um, it just kind of happens with these older toys, and I knew in advance that they were damaged, so it's all good. Nothing to be upset about on my end, and uh, nothing a little super glue or some creative customization couldn't fix. So there is that, and I can just already tell we're going to run out of room so quickly in this. I have, this is as wide as the camera lens goes, and 
Also, um, this is at my desk, so there's no more room once we fill this up, but we'll do as much as we can. Next up, we have another Spartan, this time a multiplayer Spartan. That is a really, really pretty color of blue. That's like a turquoise or like a teal blue, I guess, with the yellow markings. He's a little bit loosey-goosey in the joints. Um, yeah, that is, like I said, that is one of the problems with these older Joyride figures. They they get loose, and it's not even necessarily from play. It is just age, the way the joints are made. They just, they wear out. I've seen ones fresh out of the package that are like this, you know, or they snap. So they're either loose or they just break off. So I'm glad he's not broken into pieces, but he's, well, actually, let's let's give this a shot. Can he hold a weapon, and, and maybe based on the pose, he'll hold it better, um, like it'll kind of keep the, keep the friction in his joints. Yeah, I mean, that's not too bad. He can definitely hold that nicely, and, uh, you know, he'll look good on display. Again, these guys are, these guys are going on display. They're not going to be, uh, necessarily needing to support a bunch of weight or anything. So as long as I display them carefully, the joints will be fine, and it won't cause them to topple off a shelf or something. Next, we just have another Elite Miner. Um, I think these are Elite Miners. I would, for some reason, I thought they'd be more, uh, they'd be more blue, but these guys are definitely like a deep purple. And I remember one that I had as a kid, or rather that a friend had as a kid, was uh, was blue and not purple. Maybe I'm just remembering that wrong, but I was I was pretty confident that he had a blue one. And maybe that was a multiplayer elite. I'm not totally sure. I'll have to try and find out online. Uh, for as much of a Halo fan as I am, I don't really know that much about the toy line. So uh, there's room for me to improve there. I know I know my game lore pretty good, but I don't know all of my uh, my figure lore, <laughs> as it were. But he's got a glued hand. It's a little bit sloppy. I might actually uh, like re-break that and then repair that. I, I know it's pretty common, both with Joyride and McFarlane, for the joints to break. It's just it's the way these are. I'm not sure. Like with Joyride, it's the hard plastic that's just more brittle, and with the McFarlane figures, the joints are just more small, and so those those pegs typically will snap off. So. Kind of a downside of Halo figures as a whole, just tended that they were more likely to break, but they're still cool, and if you if you took care of them, they will last you, you know, as long as any other figure. Next up, we have another Spartan. This one in a very beautiful color of gray and blue. Uh, I really want this figure. I don't think it's included. Um, I don't think I got it in this lot, but there's one of these where it's gray and yellow, and I really want that one because it's basically Agent Washington from the Red vs. Blue series, one of my favorite machinimas on YouTube back in the day, and still to this day. I, I don't necessarily care for the new series as much, but the old ones were so good, and Agent Washington always had such a cool design. So this is uh, this could be like a freelancer, because he's got that nice color scheme, the blue, maybe he's like, I don't know, Oregon or something, I can never remember. Uh, which freelancers have been claimed in the series and which ones are still like unknown, I guess. But yeah, this could be a freelancer. It could just be a multiplayer Spartan. It could be whatever you want. I do love that gray armor color though. Next, we have a horrifying Covenant Jackal. And yeah, look at that. Look at that face. That is a face that only a mother could love. Um, yeah, I've never, this is another one I've never had, so it's kind of cool to see this in person. The uh, the shield would ordinarily snap onto his wrist, and of course that's broken, so that's not going to happen. And then I'm assuming somewhere in here, I think these guys came with a beam rifle as well as uh, maybe like a plasma pistol or a needler. That way you could have them either be a sniper or just a standard jackal. Let's see if we can actually get his hand to grip these weapons. There's that hand. Kind of-ish. Not terribly good, but kind of. Um, I think he might do better with a single-handed weapon like the Needler. Maybe not in that hand. Maybe in this hand. There we go. That's the hand that he's supposed to hold it with, I think. Um, but there we go. There's a uh, there's a jackal. I think there are two of those in this lot. I, I forget exactly what's in there because I remember some of the things and other items, you know, you just forget with time, and it's it's more of a surprise that way anyways. I'm just looking at the weapons here. What else we got in here? We got the SMG. I love that. It had the uh, extendable little grip there. 
I know we've got, uh, oh, there's an assault rifle. That's a CE assault rifle because they didn't have assault rifles in Halo 2. They only had the battle rifle. Uh, I got a shotgun, a combat evolved shotgun, and a Halo 2 shotgun again. More shotguns. Man, they really packed those in with a lot of figures. That's interesting. So yeah, going through some of the weapons there, I actually was surprised to find a number of CE weapons, combat evolved weapons. The Magnum, the shotgun, the sniper rifle, and the assault rifle, all of which will be really nice if I ever find a combat evolved figure without weapons, which is all too common with really any of these figures. They're always, always missing weapons or accessories of some kind. So having an assortment of ones for the Combat Evolved figures is really nice. There's also a whole slew of weapons, you know, probably like five or six, maybe even more plasma rifles, five magnums or so, multiple SMGs, multiple shotguns. Um, yeah, I'm not going to get into all those. Those will just, they just go with the figures. Um, so that, there's nothing really interesting to see there, but let's get into the next one. And it looks like we've got another Master Chief. I, I'm not sure how many there are, but if I have a bunch of duplicate Master Chiefs, um, I might just keep the best one, whichever one has the best joints, and then pass the rest on to other collectors, because I know many people in my little community on Instagram and stuff that would really appreciate owning one of these um, for photography or just to have in the collection. So I, I have no problem doing that. Then we have the other, the other Jackal Miner. Nothing really new there. Same thing. Same thing with the shield. It's unfortunately broken, but I might be able to find a way to modify it so that it will still attach. Ooh, and then we have uh, <laughs> this hideous monstrosity. The most annoying type of enemy, I think. Uh, very weak, but very annoying. And wow, this is very detailed. Like, compared to... If you compare the sculpt on this to this... My goodness, they went overboard with this drone. That is amazing. They've got like the, the wing flaps and the head. There's so much. Wow, that is really, really interesting. That almost looks like a McFarlane figure when you compare it to these other more, uh, not exactly stylized, but more simplistic figures. Then you got this drone who's like Mr. Detailed Sculpt, although what he has in Sculpt, he doesn't really have in Articulation. Uh, but let's get those those wings. Those just kind of... Oops, that just pops off there. So that'll just go right there. And then you can just pop those wings on. Where'd the other one go? Where did you go? Somewhere. Uh, the other wing went somewhere on this desk. And we'll find it eventually. But yeah, there's, there's the drone. This hideous monstrosity. I wouldn't want to uh, encounter him ever. Because while I don't mind bugs, I just... I don't want to encounter that bug in particular. Yeah, I'm not sure where that other wing went, but oh well, we'll find it. This might be the most perfect thing for this haul. Uh, a bunch of bases. I forgot that they made these. Um, and I don't know if these came packed with the figures or if these were like something you would have to buy separately. I think this must be for the drone, just based on how those like T slots are built. But you got that, and then you got three that just have peg hole pegs. Um, these will be perfect for the figures that have issues standing up, whether in the joints or whatever. That'll just be nice to have. Next, uh, is this another Master Chief? Or is this... I think this is a multiplayer Spartan. Yes. Ooh, this is sweet. I've never seen this one. Um, it's a... I think this is like the battle-damaged Spartan. So this is like the yellow Spartan, but he's battle-damaged. So he's got this, like a paint wash almost, or like an airbrushed paint over top of him so he's looks really grungy and weathered i think that looks sick though like that is really really cool um if i'm not mistaken this is my original blue one i think that this one is also a battle damaged version because it's a darker blue it's got much of that same like washed look and also it's got little silver like spots i guess painted on which this one has as well the yellow one has so that's cool. Uh, battle damaged yellow Spartan definitely looks better than like having a bright yellow Spartan. I like having that kind of grungy look like he just went through a flamethrower or something. Um, so there's that. There's that Spartan. One that I almost thought was a Master Chief because of his color. Next up, we've got a red Spartan. Red multiplayer Spartan. 
just for just for grins, grins and giggles, let's give them a shotgun. I haven't really been arming any of these guys because, again, I don't want to take 20 years making this video because um, there's a lot to go through, but he holds it very nicely. These guys actually, again, for, for the time that they were made, they really are, actually not even for the time they were made, for now, for, for today's toy industry, these guys are really well made. and. I can't get over the chrome visor, like that is one of my favorite things about these in particular, the Joyride figures, they all had that really beautiful chrome visor, it looks so cool, their articulation was top notch, and I mean I just don't think you get this in today's market really, you can kind of because like Joyride today has been, or I'm sorry, Jazzwares has been doing the chrome visors with their uh, Spartan collection, which is really nice to see, however, I just don't think you can beat this. Uh, there's been some QC issues with the Spartan collection, unfortunately, and these guys, I think, are still some of the pinnacle Halo figures. The only thing that really tops it, in my mind, is the Halo 3 Spartan figures from McFarlane. They don't have the chrome visors, but Halo 3 is still probably my favorite Halo, and those figures hold a very special place in my heart. I would love to find one day a collection of McFarlane figures this large that I could buy and hopefully do a video on that as well because I don't. I only have like two McFarlane Spartans. Um, and I need to get more of those. I need to get more of those for the collection. Have uh, have a little bit more of an expanded Halo shelf for display and hopefully be able to provide more Halo content on this channel because. You know, uh, it's been lacking. I've been doing a lot of Star Wars, but as Star Wars figures have more and more difficulty coming out and actually getting into the hands of collectors, I have less content to make on my channel, so this would be a great way to uh, kind of fill in that gap. Next up, I think we're on to our third, yes, our third Master Chief. No problem there whatsoever, just a uh, another duplicate. But hey, Master Chief, John117, at, at the ready, you know? That is still a very solid figure, and no complaints from me. I mean, you can't have too many Master Chiefs, I don't think. And another Spartan. This one is... ooh, that's that's interesting. That is very, very similar to this one, but he is solid blue with a different emblem on his shoulder, so it's like a variation of my Battle Damage Blue Spartan. But this one has blue on blue. His secondary color is blue, so he doesn't have the little stripe there that's a different color. Still the same weathering pattern, still the same shade of dark blue. Uh, very, very interesting. You could almost... like he. It's such a dark color, it's almost black that you could almost make this into a Tex figure from Red vs. Blue, but for now it is just a, uh, a Spartan. It is just a blue multiplayer Spartan. Next, oh this is uh, this is one that I was really looking forward to, um, the Arbiter. We've got the Arbiter, and you gotta have the Arbiter. I was really looking forward to specifically having Master Chief and the Arbiter in this lot, because you gotta have the duo, you gotta have both of them. Now he does have some damage, uh, one of the mandible pieces here on this side is uh, unfortunately broken off, and his shoulder pad is right here, I think, yeah, it goes on this side. So there's that, I'll glue those back on, no problem whatsoever. This is a really highly detailed figure, I love how they got all the squiggly lines in his armor, but it's so well detailed, like that is just amazing to see in person and yeah i'm i'm stoked to have that to have the arbiter to have master chief that is going to be like the center of the display for sure having having both of them although they never really teamed up in halo 2 it's still they still are the main characters they're the two playable characters in the campaign and you know it builds halo 2 builds the foundation of their their unlikely friendship in uh, in Halo 3, so that's really nice to have. And, you know, we're getting down to the last couple figures here. I definitely know the last ones that are, that are in this haul are some of the favorites uh, for me personally, the ones that I was really looking forward to, so I'm anxious to get to those. Uh, right up at the start here, we've got the Jackal Major, and ah, that is what uh, this piece, this piece that was floating around um, that is his leg armor. I thought that was part of the Arbiter, but that is part of his leg armor. And this one, unfortunately, is broken as well, but he's uh, using a twisty tie here to keep that on his arm. So I might actually do that with the other ones, because that's a really good trick. 
and it it works really well. Like that's not going to fall off or anything. So I might do that with the other ones just so that they can hold their shields, also hold their weapons and uh, be properly displayed that way. I checked the box. We are down to our final three figures. Uh, these are not technically figures, I guess. They're just really, really gross. Ew, these guys are flood infection forms and uh, they're so gross looking. The way that they're sculpted and their little claws are all grabby and stuff. I. I hate that so much, so very, very much. <laughs> All the like sacks of flood juice, I guess. Um, they're sculpted very nicely, but these are this is one time where the sculpt is something that I would be okay if it wasn't there. Um, and this is kind of like coming off, or maybe maybe that's just how it is, like a kind of a factory error. These weren't uh, uh, back in the day, you know. There was definitely some QC issues that were more common than today, but. There's uh, some flood infection forms. Yay, my favorite. Woo. I gotta say, uh, the flood is one of the most nightmarish creatures in all of video game history, especially, especially in Halo Combat Evolved. That was a absolutely nightmare of a mission. And uh, ironically, I played that. No, I, I did play that first. That was terrifying. I played that first, and then I jumped to. Uh, to Halo 3's Floodgate, and that was horrifying, and then I jumped back. I kind of played the games out of order, but either way, the Flood missions were, like, simultaneously my favorite and my least favorite at the same time. They were horrifying, but they were horrifying in a fun way. I, I don't know. All right, and so this, this is uh, the third to last figure. The last two are the ones I'm most excited for, so I saved those for last unintentionally, but it works out. We have the uh, the elite, not not the zealot. Uh, what are these guys? They're not zealots. They are heretics. That's what they are. These are like the the elites that tried to rebel against the prophets, and it didn't go so well for them. <laughs> they have a very unique design. Like they've stripped their armor off, and they've reduced it to kind of just like a spacesuit. So they've got the the jetpacks, and then they've got this like rebreather kind of thing going on, like a space helmet covering their eyes, going into their mouth so that they can breathe. Um, very unique design, kind of kind of strange, kind of techy. It's almost like a Tron suit, the way it's got all these like grid lines and stuff, which is definitely unique, very, uh, very curious to see, especially in game. But yeah, there's that. Um, not exactly a highlight that I was looking forward to, but definitely not one that I'm upset about in any way, shape or form. And the pen ultimate figure. Oh man, yep, that's right, we've got a marine flood form. This is absolutely horrifying to see in person. I've seen pictures of this, I've never seen it in person, and I think the only one that could be worse than this might be the uh, McFarlane Halo 3 flood form, but this looks absolutely gruesome, and that is where uh, this little this little tentacle arm thing it needs to go right in there, and I will definitely glue that back together. But for now, just uh, let's just appreciate how horrifying, absolutely horrifying that sculpt is. If I can get it in focus, yeah, this is uh, this is a game that we played as kids, um, and this is the kind of enemy we went up against. I don't think our parents would approve very much, but yeah, the flood was horrifying. Watching them get infected was gruesome, and. Yeah, here here's the infected form. Here's the the human version, and you can even it's kind of cool because you can even turn his legs sideways, so it's kind of like a like a hobbling kind of lurching forward zombie movement. The way the armor is sculpted, like broken open, absolutely amazing. So very very excited to have that gruesome gruesome character here. We'll put him right there. And now on to the final figure, the one that I am most excited for. And you might think like, wow, out of all of these, this is the one you're most excited for? Yes, because this is one of my favorite designs in all of Halo. Not necessarily, uh, you'll see, let's get it. Yep, here we go. I have in my hands the Halo 2 ODST. Now, uh, not necessarily the Halo 2 ODST, but just the ODST in general is one of the coolest designs in in all of Halo, especially in when you play uh, Halo ODST. What else? So yeah, we've got the the Drop Shock Trooper from Halo 2. This guy, uh, his accessories, he has a combat knife, and I never knew 
Oh, I guess that goes right here. So that needs to be glued back on a removable combat knife, which is so, so cool. Again, these are old figures from specifically, let's find like the date stamp on this guy. 2005. So these guys are coming out the same year as the Revenge of the Sith toy line and all of that. And for a roughly like seven to eight inch scale figure line, they're very nicely detailed, very well articulated, and they still hold up. Like these aren't exactly uh, collector grade, but these are proper toys. You know, if you're a fan of Halo, these are really nice toys that you could get back in the day. And I am very, very pleased to have them, especially finally having an ODST. Let's give him, I think he would have come with the battle rifle. So we'll give him that. Oh man, that is so cool. The camouflage, the pouches, it's, it's very stylized. It's very simplistic. And yet it is so true to the character. I mean, base, you know, basing these off of old games where the graphics weren't exactly 4k, uh, they did a really good job translating these into more accurate representations uh, of, of action figures. My only real complaint with this figure is they didn't give him outwards at the hips. They just gave him swivels. So he's a little bit limited in that regard. However, it is still really, really cool to have him as well. So let's let's move the gross infection form. Let's put him right up front. And yeah, there there we go. That is all that is all 20 figures for this haul. We've got the prophet, we've got one, two, three, four, five, five multiplayer Spartans, plus three Master Chiefs, the Arbiter, three Elites, the Elite uh, Heretic there, the Flood Form, three Infection Forms, three uh, Jackals, and the Arbiter. I think that, and the ODST, of course. The ODST, we can't forget about that. Plus a absolute treasure trove of various weapons, possibly even more weapons than there are figures here, which is, again, very nice when when I might get more figures someday, you know, get more of these guys and need weapons for them. Now I have so many different variations to choose from snipers and we've got energy swords, carbines, and of course we've got the uh, the spanker rocket, which I absolutely love. I think this one is still the CE version, but still very, very cool. I am so excited to uh, just display these and find a cool way to do that. Once again, huge shout out to the guy that sold these to me. I really appreciate the deal you cut for me on them. I think I ended up paying, if you broke it down, it was somewhere around like 15 bucks a figure, which I think is really reasonable for these Joyride figures. Some of them can be quite expensive nowadays. I don't know exactly individual prices on all of these. Um, I, I just, I saw a good deal and I jumped on it. And again, I really do appreciate them. And these are going to be a massive, massive uh, addition to the collection, a very nice addition to the collection, might I add. So yeah, there, there it is. I'm finally getting into some Halo content. If there is any one of these that you want to see a more specific breakdown on the channel, um, I'd be more than happy to do that. So just leave that down in the comments. If you want to follow me over on social media, check out the link down in my description. That also takes you to Entertainment Earth in case you want to order any figures through that. But I think that's where we are wrapping this video up. So as always, thank you for watching, and I will be sure to catch you all in the next video.